Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for October 2022 and see what's going to be happening in your life today and what predictions we can be making for this week for you, what your horoscope's looking like, Sagittarius, all right? Now, I'm actually running a surprise coupon or discount right now for all my reading services on my website. Uh, I very rarely ever run coupon codes, but since this is my birthday week, I was like, you know what? Let me spoil my friends, honey. All right, so all the details to that will be in my pinned comment. I actually have a, a open openings for a change when it comes to my live readings because I have kept a pretty clear schedule and I haven't booked anyone because I've been taking a break and so if you've been looking for that this is the most opportune time Sagittarius to get a reading with me because I'm usually pretty booked and busy honey all right and so let's just start your tarot reading this week here Sagittarius see what's going to be happening in your life all right I'm really okay I hmm. all right this is already interesting here uh Sagittarius I feel like for you right now I see you guys coming out of a depression or just like a, a rut of some sort all right and maybe I'm being presumptuous in that way. I mean, I don't think I am. Tower card in the back of the deck. Yeah, this is definitely like y'all have either dealt with a heavy blow recently, Sagittarius, or just like something going on internally for you where it's just like you've been going through some heavy struggles here. I been, I keep on being shown like the sun shining and not just because we have the sun card right here, but I do see as if like you're about to, you're, you're about to be seeing like the other side of things, like positivity is really going to be shining on you uh, in these coming days here. All right. I also, for some reason, feel the need to mention like your birthday. So I feel like something's going to major is going to be happening during your birthday month. All right. In a very positive way again. So let's just get right into your tarot cards now for this week, Sagittarius. Your first row, we have the strength card, the queen of wands and the five of swords coming in here. All right. And so the first thing that I see with this here, Sagittarius, is like this sense of where it's just like you've been trying to just keep your head above water. You've been trying to stay strong, but it's been really hard for you to really be in your energy here as that queen of wands. Right. You have maybe been having dealing with been dealing with like some thoughts and that that have not been so lovely about yourself Sagittarius and I feel as if there's something that's going to be really inspiring you or someone I really feel like uh spoiler alert just based off of your second row here I feel like someone or something is really going to be inspiring you and making you feel like alive again remind you of why it is that you choose to wake up every single day in the morning like every morning right um maybe for some of you Sagittarius you've maybe lost sight of like your passion in life or just motivation just because you know recently maybe things just haven't been going so great with that four of cups energy right you've been you know it's been like disappointment after disappointment or just very lackluster things right we don't have to really put too much of a label on it here but you have this one cup here that's once uh, things change once your perspective changes that's really going to be surprising you and you don't see it coming in here all right you really don't this is something that's really unexpected here all right I want to just jump right into your second row because this is really the money maker here. You have both the two of wands in the cups here with the sun card coming in. All right. Now, the two of wands represents the far out, like looking far out into the future. It can represent contracts. It can represent um, pretty much anything that's setting you up for the long term future here. And then you have the two of cups coming in. All right. Now, the two of cups, you can see the two of cups where it's like romance. But I, I don't like to really focus on just romance for people because not everyone's interested in love in that type of way. So I will just like keep it on the base level where it's just like some type of connection uh, could be like a next your next best friend or something like that. That's going to be you're going to connect to them and that's going to be uh, a relationship that you have for a very long time in the foreseeable future. Now, getting into other parts of this message here. The two of cups can represent just partnerships, right? And so partnerships with the two of cups, two of wands with the contracts, the sun card, which is the most positive card in the tarot deck, Sagittarius. This is a straight up message here where it's just like if you guys are considering like doing some type of deal with people or anything like that, like I feel like there is like this the musings of just like doing some type of contractual work or making deals with somebody that it just rings forth really positive news for you. I also get like this message here, Sagittarius, from my artist out there. I do really feel like this is going to be like a big major message for my artists that have been maybe losing faith or just losing passion for their art because you feel like your art's not being appreciated. Someone's going to be coming in to really show their appreciation towards your art and really brings, again, brings forth this sense of like you feeling alive again, you feeling like this sense of freedom where it's just like, oh, where it's like you're able to take that deep breath and be like, okay, things are going, uh, things are going to start picking up here. Things are going good here. I can keep on going, right? I do feel as if there's something that's going to be extremely valuable 
validating that happens in your life, Sagittarius. That's really what I get with, that's, that's how, if I would summarize this energy here, you're about to be experiencing something that's extremely validating for your art, for your existence, just, or just, yeah, just like really just validating in some facet that like really reminds you where it's just like, oh, you know, you know what? I'm actually pretty talented. You know what? I'm actually really pretty, you know? In this way, like something really shows to you that reminds you, Sagittarius, of just like how fabulous, how good you are. Does that make sense, darling? So let's get into your third row here. And we're going pretty quick here, but I mean, the message is really straightforward. There's not really too much, much nuance with this here. You have the six of pentacles, four of cups with that 10 of pentacles. Now we already did slightly touch on this four of cups, Sagittarius, but what I want to be talking about it now is that the six of cups is that sense of where it's just like you'll see it's represented by these scales right and so the very much so the epitome of this is like let's just say for example you have your art let's say you have a youtube channel and the videos that you post on your youtube channel like it doesn't get very many views or like the effort the work that you put into a situation like you're not really getting like what you're getting back from it really isn't paying off all right Due to what this uh, this energy is, is in your first two rows here, you're about to be unexpectedly having things balancing out. Like the scales always find its way to balance out. It may initially seem very unpromising where one side is really weighed down where you're putting all this energy in. And then it's just like on the other side, it's not being reciprocated here. It's about to be reciprocated in tenfold for you. All right. And the reason why I'm speaking in such grandiosity is because of the Sun card. The Sun card, again, is the most positive card in the tarot deck where it's just like extremely positive news, extremely validating because, and I think you need this validation because Five of Swords here, you start getting in your head or maybe it's other people start getting in your head where you start like doubting yourself, being like, oh man, like, am I actually, am I even worthy of anything? You know, that's how I see this as. And so in this type of message here, the scales are going to be balancing out once this cup is finished being filled right here, because once it's finished being filled here Sagittarius that's when I feel like you're going to notice it and that's when I feel like that full cup is going to be offered towards you and then ten of pentacles coming in here I mean financially for you like ten of pentacles is the best card in the tarot deck for financial situations now the ten of pentacles does represent things stabilizing you know it's like that family life you know being able to connect to people of all different walks of life and just coming together and just being able to be happy in one another's company here Sagittarius so it's like things are going to be really balancing things out in your life here all right I, there you know I don't want to get into too much of a rant about karma and dharma here but just like on the most basic of levels here Sagittarius it's like you might have been feeling as if like nice people finish last or it's just like you feel as if like you're being punished because it's like man I've been doing all this ritual work I've been doing all this effort here but like what is it for like I'm not gaining anything from it right and so you are absolute like anything that you've been investing into the ritual work the energy just your motivation like it's not for nothing that's like the main message that I get here Sagittarius is like all this effort that you're putting in right now is not for nothing it's going to be paying off in tenfold so continue putting in the work continue investing in stuff um because at some point in time, it's going to find its way back to you. All right. And then fabulous card that we have here, Ace of Cups. This is literally the cup that is filled. Didn't I just say Sagittarius earlier, where it's just like once this for, once this cup is filled, that's when you'll notice it. And then you have the Ace of Cups. This is the filled cup essentially here. New love, new opportunity. Really fabulous here. And then you have the three of cups as well. I really do feel as if some type of like you guys are either going to be making like a new friendship, like you guys are definitely going to be making some new connections here in the coming days. And it's going to be helping breaking down some walls that I feel like you've built up for yourself. Maybe you've been telling yourself being like, oh, like I'm too misunderstood. People don't understand me. Like, you know, da, 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 right. Whatever you want to be saying, right. And in this type of dynamic here, it's going to be extremely validating where you're just like, wait a minute, like, you know what, I'm actually a good friend. I'm actually a good lover. You know, I'm a good person because you start attracting some really good people in your life here that really help validate you, you know, really, truly, it's all, oh, girl, <laughs> truly uh, Sagittarius. It's all about the people that we surround ourselves with about is like the, the people who we surround ourselves with really influence how we see ourselves. And I feel like it's time for you to surround yourself with better people that help influence you in a more positive way, which is definitely coming. But yeah, it's definitely this message here, Sagittarius, where it's just like seven of cups coming in here, six of cups coming in and the eight of swords. Maybe you think that you can't really get better than what you had in the past or 
maybe you feel like you're stuck in a current situation with a friendship or something like that being like oh man like since this friendship is fading away since this family member is fading away here like i'm not really gonna have anyone i'm gonna be alone here spirit is letting you know just like mm -mm, darling all right you know you're paying you're being overtly focused in on your past connections here and trapping yourself thinking that there's nothing better possible you know it's kind of like when you think about it sagittarius if your friend came to you and just like oh i'm never going to find love again i'm never going to make another friendship again because you know it's not possible you would you would sit there and be like okay such you would be like okay darling calm down now because there's a, billions of people in this world here i guarantee you there's gonna be someone else um that is worth your time you know this this is the epitome of like there's plenty of fish in the sea here and so well, I do see for you, Sagittarius, and this is not me chastising you. Sometimes when we, we uh, really get into our spirals, sometimes we really don't see the other side of things. We didn't, it's impossible to see the silver lining or it's impossible to see how things could ever work out or how we will ever find love again or connections again here. But this is a direct message where it's just like, actually, you're going to really quickly realize how much... Uh, is out there in the world that you don't want to be too focused in on what you had in the past darling because you're really just outgrowing that stuff you're going to be able to be around people that really are worth being worth your time and energy worth investing into you have the nine of pentacles coming in with the eight of cups as well i feel like spirit's really trying to direct you or where you need to emotionally detach yourself from situations that don't quite fulfill you all right nine of pentacles here this is like a message where it's like spirit doesn't want you to be so afraid of being alone or being without that you end up sacrificing and settling for something like that eight of cups whether that's a relationship or a job where spirit's like no don't feel like you have to settle for that darling all right follow our lead follow our path here and we'll promise you that we'll show you a better pentacle that's much worth much more th much more worth your investment there we go i was trying to get it out there but um that's the tarot reading that i have for you today such a terrorist hopefully this reading helps you out in some type of way and this was really such a pleasure to do remember if you did enjoy this tarot reading let me know in the comments below that's how i keep up with y'all as well as give this video a like and subscribe i know y'all don't have to do it but it does help me out quite a bit and it's free to do darling so until next time though such a terrorist i love you so much darling bye